We learned something today that explains a lot. Meteorologists now say the largest of Friday night's tornadoes in Oklahoma was an EF5. It was the widest ever recorded. It was over two and a half miles wide at the base. This also means Oklahoma saw two EF5s in just the span of 11 days. From flooding to severe weather, the Midwest has seen it all the past couple of weeks. We're talking about winds of almost 300 miles per hour. And it was about two and a half miles wide based on Doppler radar data. Now, this is a new record, not just for the United States, but for the world. Authorities are bracing for more chaos across Central Europe as heavy rain continues to pound the region. Prague is bracing itself for the worst as the Vltava River threatens to flood the historic center. Rainfall across Central Europe is showing no sign of stopping. Over the weekend, rising waters killed five in the Czech Republic. The Danube and other Austrian rivers have flooded, swamping entire villages with some houses covered to the first floor. The metro system was shut down and thousands have been evacuated from low-lying areas. The torrential rain caused landslides too, and some places have been hit by two months' worth of rain in just days. Much of the south and east of Germany have also been ravaged by floods and have now been upgraded from high alert to catastrophe. A strong 6.3 magnitude earthquake hit Taiwan on Sunday, killing one person and violently shaking building in the capital Taipei, officials said. The powerful quake sent people running into the streets and was also felt in Hong Kong, more than 700 kilometers away. Torrential rain accompanied with strong winds struck several regions in northern and northwestern China over the past three days, flooding roads, uprooting trees and interrupting traffic. Torrential rain trapped 30 people. The water had risen to around two foot, as high as the passengers' chests, and with the rain continuing to fall, it was still rising. Now, waters are continuing to rise across Central Europe, and Germany, of course, is particularly badly affected. More than 30,000 people in the eastern city of Halle have been told to leave their homes after rivers reached what are being described as their highest level for 400 years. At least a dozen have died in the floods which have affected most of Central Europe over the last week. In Poland, firefighters fought to free passengers from flooded cars as storms brought the capital, Warsaw, to a standstill on Sunday as the town was drenched by 30 litres of water per square metre. The situation remains critical. A state of emergency is still in force. In major Slovakian port Komarno, all shipping has been brought to a halt. Thousands have been evacuated all over Central Europe. It was the worst flooding ever recorded in Budapest. These are some of the worst floods to hit Germany in more than 500 years. And we're going to turn now to tropical storm Andrea. The first storm of the Atlantic season wreaking havoc as she barrels up the eastern seaboard. The massive rainmaker packing powerful winds causing serious flooding. This storm really made a mess. It did and for a large part of the country and very fast because that's how this thing was very speedy but it dropped plenty of rain. Watch for these things, you will know. It is really a calendar, that's all it is, is a calendar. Watch for these things and you will know what season you're in. Everything is to repeat itself. I warn you, we are in, we are in very dangerous times. We are living in biblical times. I told my staff a long time ago, when you hear me start talking about God, you'll know we're at a different DEFCON level. When you start hearing me use the words Jesus Christ on the air, because I know what it does to my popularity, I know what it does to, I know what it does. And I know how it makes you a new crazy Christian kook. And I said, we will be at a much different DEFCON level when I start saying Jesus Christ and quoting the Bible. We are at the end. And I am sorry to say that I feel that we are now at the place to where you better have your house in order. Lightning strike overnight, direct hit on the Willis Tower in Chicago. 
Now those huge storms heading for the east coast. But today there's a whole range of storms and it's all over the eastern seaboard. We already have tornado watches and mornings uh, that we think will be issued. We have a severe thunderstorm watch that's out right now. But we're already looking at oh, about 280, almost 300 storm reports, 18 tornadoes. So this was bad enough. A series of severe storms spawned tornadoes, 80 mile an hour straight line winds, and golf ball size hail. And in Alexander, Iowa, farm damage and tossed cars. Hours later, tornado sirens blaring in Aurora, Illinois. Go from the zero count in the last couple of hours to just within the last hour, almost 10,000 lightning strikes with this line that's moving east. This is a, a, an unusual weather event. It's a line of strong thunderstorms, not just one but sort of like a fast-moving freight train. Nothing but thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm. Some of them will have tornadoes. Some of them will have large hail. They'll have lots of rain. And there's a chance that they will have a derecho, which is an unusual event. In northern India, at least 23 people have been killed, with up to 50 others missing after three days of torrential rains and monsoon flooding. Utakashi in Utakahan state has been hit hard, with strong waters sweeping away buildings. has shaken Mexico City, causing power cuts across the region. Buildings were evacuated as a precaution. The earthquake measured 5.8 on the Richter scale. Parts of France are on orange alert as savage storms leave a trail of destruction in their wake. The southwest region is on storm watch as the unseasonal tempest-like weather claims a third life. A 54-year-old woman drowned in her car in the Landes. Overnight, a mini tornado struck the Côte d'Or region, laying waste to 60 houses and leaving 15,000 homes without electricity. In the French Pyrenees, flash floods showed no mercy, sweeping away all in their path. Wine producers say this year's harvest was ruined in a matter of minutes after giant hailstones hit vineyards on Monday. The Indian Army has rescued hundreds of stranded pilgrims and tourists. People are reporting back saying that they have seen dead bodies floating. The fact that that rain leads to this kind of impacts is absolutely unprecedented. Landslides have washed away the roads in the calamity hit region. Heavy rainstorms in Switzerland and flooding in France continue to cause havoc. For the second time in a week, participants at the Swiss Federal Gymnastics Tournament had to flee as storm winds of 130 kilometers an hour swept through the site. Several people were injured by falling trees and trapped under debris. The region has been hit by heavy rains over the last three days, causing flash floods which have killed three people. Back now when we turn to the west, firefighters are still battling dozens of wildfires tonight. That situation is not being helped by severe, in some places, extreme drought conditions to one town where there is no water at all. Brazil is ablaze with protest as hundreds of thousands of people demonstrate in cities across the country. From Porto Alegre to Sao Paulo to Rio, crowds have invaded the streets to voice their discontent with their government, where it's estimated that more than a million people are taking part in the fierce protests. The images today from southwestern Alberta are truly mind-boggling. The devastation and disruption, hard to process. Communities are underwater, tens of thousands of people are out of their homes, buildings are submerged or abandoned. And the danger still isn't easing because more rain is coming. In Calgary alone, more than 75,000 residents are under evacuation order. Police confirm three people have died in the flooding. And states of emergency have been declared in dozens of cities and towns.
For my whole life, I've never witnessed anything like this before. The floods followed some 36 hours of unusually heavy rainfall. Some communities receiving six months in less than two days. I've got to tell you, standing on a bridge in the dark when the power is out, listening to the roar of the river is terrifying. Wellington has been battered by its worst storms in 40 years. Wind gusts of up to 200 kilometres an hour caused extensive damage across New Zealand's North Island, bringing down trees and signs. Flights, trains and ferry crossings were cancelled. Thousands of homes are without power. Ships were ripped from their moorings. The storm has moved onto the South Island, dumping heavy snow and causing chaos on the roads. It's another big and still developing story we're following tonight, those exploding wildfires including one that officials say threatens to burn down an entire town. Firefighters in southwest Colorado say a massive wildfire could keep burning for months. Parts of the south coast have now received triple their average June rainfall in just three days. It bucketed down again today as paddocks were turned into lakes. And creeks are rising rapidly. More homes were flooded at Shoalhaven Heads near Nowra. It's a one in 100 year event and this just happened to be their year. Oh, so far there's been about 200 millimetres in some parts of the south coast. That is already double the usual average rainfall for the whole month of June. Supporters of gay rights are celebrating after the US Supreme Court struck down a law defining marriage as between a man and a woman. A historic ruling claims the definition is unconstitutional. The decision means legally married gay couples are now entitled to the same benefits as man and wife. And let's make no mistake, it's two New York City lesbians who brought DOMA down and pretty soon It'll only be enough for all of us when we have full marriage equality in every state in the union. May God bless Edie Windsor, Robbie Kaplan, and all of you in our struggle for full equality. Now today, America's atheists take another step forward in our struggle for equality. We do feel like it's kind of a stick in the eye of the, uh, the Christian people of Florida to have these outsiders come down here with their money and their leadership and uh, promote their outside values here. Millions of Egyptians came down to the streets in nationwide protests against President Mohamed Morsi on Sunday. International news outlets actually said this could be the largest demonstration seen in the history of the world. Some 20 million outraged citizens have flooded cities across the nation. and At least seven people have been killed and more than 600 injured. Torrential rain and hailstorms have lashed in a Mongolia in North China, leaving at least eight people dead and one person missing, according to local authorities. The severe weather started just after 3 p.m. on Sunday, with some houses being hit and traffic affected. According to residents, the hailstorm lasted for about 10 minutes, damaging vehicles and greenhouses. There are thunderstorms and more rain forecast in the coming days. Death Valley in California certainly lived up to its name as temperatures climbed up to 50 degrees Celsius. The U.S. is experiencing a heat wave which could beat the highest temperature recorded in the California desert of 57 degrees. In Las Vegas, 30 people were rushed to hospital after suffering from the effects of the scorching heat at a music festival. Sydney copped another drenching today, helping to make it our wettest June in six years. And forecasters say we're on track to break another record. One more day of steady rain could create a one in ten year event for the city.